Harmony Hill friends. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to talk a little bit about Easter. We are in my kitchen and I'm going to show you a few things you can do at home this week to have fun getting ready for Easter. So many of you probably have certain things at your house that you um, have around your house or things that you might have that you use to celebrate for Easter. So you probably have some bunnies, some decorations in your house, flowers. Um, you may actually have things like this. So this is a little Easter basket in here. And then if you look inside this Easter basket, there are some plastic fun eggs. See all these awesome eggs? So there's all kinds of things you can do with plastic eggs when you're at home. Get your plastic eggs out. We're gonna talk about some things today. So first, you can always do fun stuff. Like, one of you can hide the eggs and your brother or sister can find them. You guys can take turns doing an egg hunt in the house. Mom can hide the eggs and you can find them. With it raining outside the next couple of days, this would be a great activity for you to do with your friends and family. You can also play games with them. You can roll the eggs on the floor, draw a line on the floor, a start line, and then roll the egg um, to see who can roll it the farthest. You can use your hands, you can use your mouth, and blow the egg and see how far you can blow it. You can use spoons. You can have a little spoon and egg races at home. So just be creative with eggs. So I'm gonna show you a couple other things you can do. So you can take the eggs and you can divide them up, take them apart, cut the halves apart, and put them into a big container or bowl. So here's my eggs. And then you guys can play games. You can take these out and you can find the matches to them. So where can you find the matches? And can you put them back together? So try all different size eggs. This is great for little kids to find the matches. You can play a game by stacking them. So take your eggs, pull some out, and how high can you stack your eggs? Just start stacking. See if you can keep them balanced. How high? Oh no, mine are already falling. How high can you go with your eggs? There we go. Can you make a tower? And how high can you make it? So you can your brothers and sisters can take turns, mom and dad, and see how high you can stack your eggs without them bowling over. All right? You can also um, put things into your eggs and then um, play a matching game. So if you can find two items, say two pennies, two nickels, two quarters, two dimes, um, two buttons that match, um, any small items that you can find two of that match, and then hide them in your eggs, and then lay them out on the counter, and you guys can play a matching game. So one of you can open two of them and see if they match. And if they don't, close them and put them back up. And then the next person takes a turn until you can find all the things that match in the eggs. So there are all kinds of fun things that you can do. You can also paint with the eggs. So take your egg halves like this and take you some paint, put it on a plate. Get a little closer so you can see my paint on my plate. There you go. And then you can paint with the eggs. But I have to tell you that I didn't have any paint at home. My daughter's 13 and she doesn't really have paint anymore that we might have at school. So I made my own paint at home. So I'm gonna show you a trick how you can make your own paint. So all you need to make your own paint is you need some flour, and I have my little flour container right here, says flour, and you need some salt. And I, could, I would recommend parents iodize salt. Um, you can use kosher salt, but the bigger the flakes, the um, less the paint, is, it's gonna be more like salt dough. And then you need water, which I have water right here, and you need food coloring. And any kind of food coloring will do, doesn't matter, I use the gel kind. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do equal parts water, flour, and salt. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna use a quarter cup today um, and I'll show you how to do it. So you measure out a quarter cup of flour and a quarter cup of salt. And here we go. And then a quarter cup of water, which I already have measured. And then you take a spoon or a spatula or anything that you want and you stir it up until it comes all together. I'm gonna to come around so you guys can see. And this is great for kids to do. They can just mix it all up. And you wanna mix it up until there's no lumps inside. And then once you have no lumps and it's all mixed up and ready to go, you can divide it into smaller containers. So I already made a batch for us with certain things in it. And so what I did is I just put it into small containers for you. And then I used food coloring to make the paint that I wanted. 
Now I'm gonna confess that the first time I made it, the paint was a little thick. It was a little too pasty-like, and what I really wanted was a little more paint-like. So what I did was after I mixed the food coloring in, then I added just a tiny bit more water until I got it to be more like paint. Now, I got one of them a little too thin, which is this one. It's a little too thin, but that's okay. It still works. And so I have my colors here. I chose to do some pastel colors for you. And then we took a piece of paper, and I just took a white piece of paper, and I take my eggs on that piece of paper, put them on the paint, and then I push down, and I do that. Um, I had some eggs that were really cool shaped. This one's a different shape. And then I just kept going and we kept painting until we painted our paper. This is a really cool fun activity. And then you have this beautiful artwork that's done with eggs. Isn't that gorgeous? Very cool. All right. Now this paint will stay for um, a while. You just have to put it into uh, a sealable container. You could put it into um, those little squeeze bottles if you have them. You can put them into Ziploc um, containers with lids on them that you get at the store. Um, you can put them into um, mason jars if you have small mason jars at home. Just anything to keep them um, closed and clear. And so you can keep those for a couple of days if you need some paint, but it's a quick and easy way to make the paint at home. So hopefully this week, you're gonna do some things with eggs at home, some plastic eggs. I would love to hear what you're gonna do. You can take pictures, you can show me what you did. And I'm also gonna share with you a Pinterest post that gives you 50 different ideas to do with plastic eggs at home. So hopefully this week you're having fun and getting ready for Easter. And I have another series I'm gonna to do tomorrow. We're gonna to dye real Easter eggs. Sounds like fun, can't wait. See you guys later, thanks, bye.